Hallelujah. Brethren, we want to appreciate the name of the Lord for giving us another opportunity uh, to meet again on this platform of Second Ambassadors. I want to thank him for keeping us from beginning of the year and even uh, giving us that grace to see another new week. It's our prayer that you continue to uphold us all in Jesus' name. And so today, by the grace of God, we want to consider another important topic, uh, which is from a mess to a message. From a mess to a message. And our text is from the book of John chapter 11, verse 4. John chapter 11, verse 4. Let us pray. Spirit of living God, we appreciate you for the grace, for the gift of life. Thank you for all that you have done for us and in our lives, in our families, in our career. In all that concerns us, we are grateful. Lord, we say be exalted in Jesus' name. Thank you for what we have even been doing on the following of the second ambassadors. We appreciate you. Father, we say be adored in Jesus' name. We come into this discussion to the ends. We pray you speak to us, and at the end, let your name be glorified. We also pray that you turn every mess of every form of mess of our lives, Father, to a message in Jesus' name. Thank you because you have answered. For in Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. So I want to welcome once again to today's um, episode of Second Ambassadors. We want to believe that uh, God has been blessing you via the messages from this platform. And today we also trust God that He will bless us more in Jesus' name. And so just like I mentioned to us earlier, our topic of discussion today is from a mess to a message. From a mess to a message. And our text is from the book of John chapter 11 verse 4. John chapter 11 verse 4. Brothers and sisters, it is important for us to know that the God that we serve specializes in bringing, bringing in, specializes in bringing uh, a message from every form of mess in our lives. Is a wonder work. Is a wonderful. Uh, is a wonder working God. Is a God that does miracles. Is a God that is so much involved in blessing His people. No matter what we are experiencing, God has the power to turn that particular mess to a message. This is the God that we serve. And if you look at the Bible from Genesis to Revelation, we'll see different you know, things that God, that God did in the life of his people. You know, when he intervened, in, for instance, for the Israelites, there was a time he had to part the rest for them. And for many people, he, he, there was a time also that Lazarus you know, had to be brought back to life. God has been so much involved in turning a, 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 a situation that is so full of mess into a message. Brothers and sisters, God is still alive, is very much alive to do the same for you. No matter what you are passing through, no matter that form of mess in your life, God has the power to turn that mess into a message. And I pray that that will be your testimony and my testimony as well in the name of Jesus. It's important for us to always remember that the God that we serve is a miracle worker. Is a God that has the power to do all things. You know, the Bible, uh, so you know, if you look at the Bible uh, very well, we say that He has different acronyms, different names rather, that we can give to our God. But another name that we can give to our God is the fact that we can call Him the Omnipotent God, meaning that He has all the power to do all things. So, brothers and sisters, no matter what is challenging, no matter your challenges, no matter what uh, is confronting you, God has the power to turn that situation around. And for your good in Jesus' name. And if you look at the story of Lazarus, um, Lazarus was sick to the point, you know, when Lazarus was sick, and we can see that story in our main text, that's in the book of John chapter 11, when Lazarus was sick, you know, um, these people people went to meet the Lord Jesus to tell him about the sickness of Lazarus because they know that Jesus loved Lazarus. Jesus' response was, the fact was, was that he said in that John chapter 11 verse 4, and many from the New KJV, he says, when Jesus had that, he said, This sickness is not unto death, but for the glory of God, that the Son of God may be glorified through it. Brothers and sisters, it is important for you to know that that mess, or that, that, that mess that you are experiencing, that situation that looks um, uh, irredeemable, that situation that has brought tears to your face, it is for God's name to be glorified in your life. And God has the power to turn that particular mess. To a message and that will be your testimony and my testimony in jesus name so let us be encouraged let us trust god because he has the power to do all things and of course he will perform his wonders in our lives in the name of jesus and so for us to also portray this point we have some biblical examples we would like us to consider for us to see the miraculous power of god in action for us to remember all that god has done before and then for us to also know that he can do the same in our lives 
the first example we want us to remember is that of Father Abraham. Father Abraham, for many years, trusted God for uh, for a child. So this also, and of course, what happened thereafter? He got that promised child. He got Isaac. Um, uh, Isaac, uh, which also means um, laughter. Brothers and sisters, I want you to know, even if you have been trusting God uh, for the foot of your womb, God has the power to give you your own laughter. And that he will do for you in Jesus' name. He will turn that your mess to a message in the name of Jesus. If you look at another example that's talking about um, Rehab, Rehab was a prostitute. And many of us, you know, when we see a prostitute, we don't even think God can do anything with them. But then in the case of this particular woman, God ensured that despite a mess, despite a situation, the Lord Jesus came from her lineage. The Lord Jesus, you know, when we're talking about the Christ lineage, this woman's name was mentioned. And we can see that in the book of Matthew chapter 1 verse 5. This is a pointer to us of the fact that no matter the, the no matter your situation, no matter how far you have gone in sin, God has the power to save you. God has the power to bring His will, um, to, to, to cause His will to come to pass in your life, if only you are ready to surrender to Him fully. And I pray that thou, you made that decision today, and of course, you, you will be on the Lord's side from today, in Jesus' name. Another example we can remember is that of Anna. Anna prayed to God, you know, for, for a long time, he was trusting God for the fruit of a womb, but eventually what happened? God gave him a son and some other children. And that first son that God gave, uh, God, sorry, God gave her a son and some other children. And the very son, the first son that God gave her was Prophet Samuel. Imagine someone that was trusting God for a child before now became the mother of Prophet Samuel. This means that no matter what you are trusting God for, God will bring a message from your mess in the name of Jesus. And um, if you have been barren, trusting God, God will answer your prayers. And you also will become fruitful in Jesus name. Another example we can also remember is that of Job. Job was someone that initially we from the book of Job we read that he was very wealthy but because of the fact that God just wanted the devil to know that this Job is a committed servant of him. You know he lost everything but what happened thereafter in the book of Job 42 we read that everything that Job had lost God restored them you know in, in, in the double fold. Meaning that all that he lost, you know, God was able to restore him. Brothers and sisters, the good news for you is that no matter what you have lost, no matter what you are going through, no matter the form of loss you have experienced, God has the power to bring a restoration. It's not just a restoration, he has the power to restore you in multiple fold. And that will be your testimony and our testimony in the name of Jesus. Another example we can remember is that of Apostle Paul. Sorry, Apostle Peter rather. Apostle Peter was someone that even denied the Lord Jesus. You know, when it was time for him to say, yes, I know him. When it was time for him to boldly declare his love for Jesus. To boldly declare that Jesus is someone that he has moved over the years. I remember us to understand that he denied the Lord Jesus. But despite his mess, despite his mess, when Jesus, you know, ascended to heaven, the Bible also understand in the book of Acts that this same Peter preached and 3,000 souls were won in just a single day. Brothers and sisters, I want you to know that even if you have denied the Lord Jesus, no matter what you have done you know, against um, his kingdom, God still loves you. God still wants you on his side. And by his mercies, he will turn your mess to a message in Jesus' name. Another example we can remember is that of Apostle Paul. Apostle Paul, before he became Apostle Paul, like we all know, that's the last example we are considering, was someone that was persecuting the church. His name then was Saul. He was so much into persecuting the church. He was always fighting against the church. Who would have believed that this same Saul, this same Saul, would then become an apostle, would then become someone that will now write the most part of the New Testament. Brothers and sisters, I want you to know that the same God that, that, that helped Saul to become Apostle Paul, the same God that saved him from his way to hell, that same God is still alive to transform you. That same God is still alive to help you. That same God is still alive to advance you. And that will be your testimony in Jesus' name. Brothers and sisters, we have given us seven examples of people in the scriptures that God turned their mess to a message. I want you to also believe that he can do much more for you too, only if you can trust him. And I pray that in the name of Jesus, that as we call on him today, he will answer us and he will turn every of mess in our lives into a message to the glory of his name alone in Jesus name. So in summary, all that we are saying is the fact that 
God has the power not to turn whatever we are experiencing, no matter your state, no matter the challenge, into something that will give him joy, to something that will give him that will cause his name to be glorified. He's, he's, he's more than able to transform whatever situation that we are in, only if we can trust him, only if we can trust his supernatural power. And it's our prayer in the name that is our, our sincere prayer is that today you and I will trust him and then we'll pray and of course we'll see him bring a message from our mess in the name of Jesus. And so as we close today, we just want to um, say that if you have yet to be born again, if you have not accepted Lord Jesus as the Lord and personal Savior, this is another opportunity for you, for you to come to that throne of grace, to this God that can bring a message from your mess. That is why this message is coming to you at this time, for you to consider giving your life to Lord Jesus, because tomorrow might just be too late. And so, maybe you have even had this, maybe this is not even the first time you are hearing this, but this message is coming for you to remember that God loves you, He wants the best for you, and He wants you to be on His side. So if you want to um, accept Jesus as the Lord and personal Savior, can you please repeat this prayer after me? Just say, Lord Jesus, thank you for your word at this time. Thank you because you have the power to turn a mess to a message. Lord, I come before you today. I pray, O oh God, that you redeem me and you save me from the power of sin. I acclaim the Father, I'm a sinner. Please forgive me my sin. Wash me with your blood. And I pray that you write my name in the book of life. I pray that, that from now, help me to live and to, to live for you in the name of Jesus. Father, I accept the Lord Jesus today as my Lord and personal Savior. Thank you for saving me. For in Jesus' name I have prayed. Amen. If you have said a prayer with us, I want to congratulate you for making the petition anybody can ever make. We want to assure you that your name is written in the book of life. Please join a Bible believing church around you. Fellowship with them. Let them know that you are a new convert and God of heaven will continue to uphold you. In Jesus' name. We also want to encourage you to please be a, a student of the Word of God. Take your time to read the Bible for you to know the, the way of the Lord. And also take your time to pray to God because prayer itself is the way of us communicating with our Heavenly Father. It's our prayer that the good Lord will continue to strengthen you and to uphold you unto that perfect day in Jesus' name. He will also uphold us too unto that perfect day in the name of Jesus. And so as we close at this time, I want us all to pray this prayer. And our prayer point this evening is, is that they will say, Dear Father, please bring a message from every form of mess in my life. In Jesus' mighty name. Shall we pray in Jesus' name? Father, we thank you because you are the all you are the you are the you are the Almighty God. You are the one that can do all things. Father, we pray that today you will bring a message from every form of mess in our lives, spiritually, financially, career wise, in our businesses. In, in all that we do, we pray in the name of Jesus that you bring a message from every form of mess in our life. Thank you because you are the wonder working God. Thank you because you perform miracles in our lives to the glory and to the praise of your name alone. For in Jesus' name we are prayed. Amen. And so we want to thank God for giving us an opportunity to share his word with you. We want to believe that we have been blessed. Just like we have said earlier, remember the fact that God has the power to turn your mess to a message. For whatever, I don't know what you are experiencing, no matter your state, no matter the situation, trust God to turn that particular situation um, to a miracle. And He will do much more for you in Jesus' name. If you are yet to subscribe to our channel, we want to encourage you to please do so, so that together we can continue to grow as a young coming of Christ ambassadors. And if you need us to send you a Bible, please you can reach us using um, the phone numbers on the screen. Or send us an you know, send us an email using um, via our email address, which is sec.ambassadors at gmail.com. It's our prayer the good Lord will continue to keep you all, keep us all on to that perfect day in Jesus' name. We also want us to all remember that the essence of this platform, which is Sec Ambassadors, is for us to raise global commissioners around the second coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. It's our prayer the good Lord will continue to keep us all on to that perfect day in Jesus' name. Thank you so much for sharing your time with us at this time. And please, let's keep on preaching the word of God. I will not lose our reward in Jesus' name. Thank you so much. And wish you all a very wonderful evening and a blessed week ahead. God bless you. Bye-bye.